Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, I'm going to be doing a quick uh, sort of summery tropical uh, manicure today. I'm going to be using the Hibiscus Flower Negative Space image from my stamping plate uh, Summer 02, Dixie Plate Summer 02. So this image here. My base colours are going to be all from Magpie Beauty. A few new ones and a couple of the old ones. So quickly, Garden of Edie. That's one of the new ones. Sweet Coraline, which is one of the uh, existing ones. Pick a Lily, which is also a new one. Hilda Flower, again a new one. And then the final colour that I am using is Life of Riley. So I'm going to be stamping with Twinkle Tea uh, Vibin and I'm going to be using my Dixie Diamond Duo. I will link everything else that I'm using in the um, description bar below. So I've already done a few nails because this is not complicated, but it takes a little bit of time. So that is what we're going to create. I haven't cleaned up yet. So quite subtle, you can do this very, very bright, but I didn't want to do it too bright. I wanted to give you sort of a, a more subtle option. So I'm going to speed this up and I'll come back at the end. all done now I finished off with don't be tacky is my top coat I should have finished off with the shine bright the new top coat from magpie but I forgot but just in case you're curious it is a beautiful beautiful top coat you definitely do need to cleanse it with the proper cleanser though because of when I first started using it I was using isopropyl alcohol and it was leaving the top coat dull so since then I've been using a proper cleanser to wipe off the um, tacky layer, give it a really good rub and then you get a beautiful shiny coat. So highly recommend that, but I should have used it and I forgot. 
So now in hindsight with these, I should have done what I did with the thumb. So I used watermelony on the thumb and then I changed my mind for whatever reason and decided I wanted a, wanted a coral, <laughs> coral color, which I don't like as much. So I would have used watermelony instead of sweet coraline because I think it makes it a little bit brighter, but still beautiful, super easy. And you can use, as you can see, I've got the Garden of Edie in there, the little sparkles that you can see. You can use any color, you can use pigments, the negative space stamping is really easy now I'm going to leave it there so if you have any comments or questions for me pop them in the comments box below I'll take a better photo of these I will link all the products that I use please subscribe if you haven't guys really appreciate your support and I will catch you in the next one thanks for watching bye